law, they, they said crime is down 28%. So I'm asking you, do you feel like crime, in your opinion, do you feel safe? Do you feel like crime is down? As a female, as a beautiful young young female, do as you feel woman? like crime is down? As, as a, a woman? woman? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't... I don't have any thoughts on it. Okay, All I can me... tell people is to be safe. So that's a politically correct answer. Um, Cohen, how do you feel? Do you feel crime is down? I mean, not, not saying, okay, there's, there's two things. We know what the statistics say, but I'm saying overall, how do you feel in an environment with all these murders happening? Do you feel like it's down? Because, you know, you could feel one way and another thing could be true. Mm-hmm. I, I feel as though I don't think much has changed to be honest you know what I mean like when we'll really notice it is like during high crime periods like Christmas or certain holidays and stuff like that when everything like nothing going on now is easy for it to seem like it dropped and then for the most part crime really impacts um, certain classes of people more than others you know what I mean a lot of the killings that we used to see they they guys who out on bail for murder and then someone else come out and kill them and a lot of it is retaliation killings you mm, know what i so, mean so i i ain't really so you people don't really think what's, what's the because you know once the police say you was known to police people's just a lot of people's torn out from that and they say, oh he's a bad boy yeah right. a lot but once you kill before whatever happened to you that's on you I, I I ain't care to be honest. I, I can hop too long. My my final question on this because I can hop too long on this because it's just something on my mind. My other my other question to this is: Do you think there's a disparity when it comes to? Let me take this off the screen. When it comes to um, when it comes to when men are murdered versus when when when, when women are murdered, because so far we I think we have up to forty one and there were a few. Females that lost their, lost their lives. But then you hear all the people saying, um, you know, we need to do something, this gender based violence or whatever. But a lot of men are being taken out, but I don't, you don't hear the same passion. At least I don't see the same passion. Do you think there's a double standard or do you feel that one gender is more valued than the other? I, get I, don't, think, I don't think it has anything to do with the value because. Um, Over there. I cut out just now. You back? Yeah, I, I back now. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's the case because um. So someone said crime may be down compared to statistics, but it feels like we're in a war zone. I I I agree. Can't. Someone <laughs> asked me to get to the topic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me go to the topic right now. Let's just answer that um, uh, um, as it relates to um, women and men. Uh, uh, sadly, we have a mother and daughter. And a mother I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't think. Sorry, I don't think so. I think what happens is um, people look at. They're not. They're not. It, the outcry isn't about your gender. The outcry is about whether because if it's a man who was out on bail for murder or armed robbery or something. I mean, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, you know? I mean, you still feel sad for their family, their loved ones, you know, but that's, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. But I mean, most women are not criminals or when they say they were victims or whatever, it isn't mm. that old they go out on bail for murder or something or, you you mm. never hear that, and mm. I think that's more the criteria rather than gender. As okay. for who gets an outcry or or who doesn't, because mm. there are men that sure. were killed. Um, the guy that was killed, I'm trying to remember his name. No, you don't have to say. Go ahead. You don't, you don't call the names, but go on. Yeah, and um, everybody, there was a big outcry because. He was never known to police or anything like that. Everybody mm -hmm. knew him. He was big in the community and everything. Well known guy. It was a lot of outcry when he was killed. Um, this is uh, mm -hmm. as I should have because men is doing more crime. 
So so them dying, people see it as retaliation. I pretty much on the line with you, Chris, you can see that? Yeah. But, yeah, pretty much on the line with what you were saying. Cohen, what do you feel? Yeah, it's that's just how it is. Most crimes, men will be at the forefront. Um, and I think everybody knows a man who went to jail or committed some type of crime because of a woman. When I say because of, I mean a woman putting pressure on a guy, so we end up doing something stupid. It's still on him, but she's an accomplice. But then you never look at that side. You know what I mean? So even if the guy is responsible for crime or or at the forefront, they're going to be the ones who get most of the brunt. Even if mm -hmm. there's a woman behind the scenes, ain't nobody know. You know what I mean? So regardless, and then on top of that, women are more protected. I, I mean, as they should be. You know, women will be more protected than men. That's that's just reality of the world we live in. That's always been like that. Do you so, think that we're kind of desensitized when because men are killed killed with killing mass and more numbers, it kind of become more desensitized than when a, a woman is killed. That's I mean, could that be one of the reasons why we go crazy when you hear a woman is murdered? Yeah, I mean, that should be a big part of it because, like you say, women are not seen as defenseless, but men being the stronger of the sex and stuff like that, it it, it will be more of a outcry for women, um, especially over here where I honestly think most of the killings or crimes are happening by repeat offenders. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These are people who are new to this or anything like that. So it's going to be hard for people to um, be empathetic to them or their families when Y'all been hiding this person. He already been to jail, get bailed out over and over again. Like people ain't gonna be empathetic towards that. And my last question it was the last question on crime. Maybe more than way we grant to our topic. Last question. <laughs> last question on crime is a if a man is accused of rape, is he guilty until proven innocent in the Bahamas, or is he innocent until proven guilty in the court of public opinion? Because it seems that. I mean, I show you all here, but it's being called whatever. But it seems that he's the person is already being crucified in the court of public opinion. So, do you think it's in the Bahamas? One day, a woman says you rape me. Do you think that they're treated as guilty until proven innocent? The, 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 the accused, not the accuser, the accused. Okay, so you could go. I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I don't think, I mean, I haven't heard anything about it, but historically, who who has law? I mean, it's not like, it's not like in the, in the U.S. where if you're accused of something, that's it for you. You know, it, I mean, there's life. I mean, life doesn't even stop over here mm. if you're accused of rape. What you mean? Okay. okay. Life. Who who's been? A, I mean, I can't think of it. I can't even think of anyone. Uh, Cole, you have anything to say that before we move on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think if you closer, I guess, like Crystal was saying, she may not know anyone, so it 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 would be hard for her to say, you know, she she can think of someone whose life has been impacted to that point because of it, but I. I I think there's even, more. I, sorry, I didn't. Mm, sorry. No, that's that's okay. That's okay, man. What you was gonna say? But I think it's more stigma for people that report it than for people that are actually mm. accused of it here. Mm. I, mm. I think for the most part, and I mean anywhere. I like, and I guess that's one of the things I do hate about um, court systems around the world. I've never seen a woman who came back and said, I lied. They never get no pun any type of punishment, whether it's community service, whether they get some of the time the man spent in jail. Like, even if it comes out and says, okay, I lied, the reputation of that man, even with dating, even with around their family or other people, when you get to meet new people, all of that, it, it, it is impacted. You may still be able to get a job, but the societal impact yep. with building yeah, relationships or meeting people, yeah, your, your reputation is finished from that point on. It can yeah. be hard for you to date. Like, like it just it just is. I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here's the first what are we supposed to be talking about. That's a detour. <laughs> All right, here's the question. 
All right. Don't, don't say that yet. Look at the question. And hmm. that's right. an easy one. So why are you breaking up with me? Look at your son, why? Look at these, look, why? Okay, so so you gonna break up with me because of my son? I was trying to teach him right from wrong. Look at man, give me this gun, dog. What you mean? What you say? I said. That's so you gonna break up with me man, because of my funny, child? Man. He's, He's just a child. You, He's bad, dog. He just need a little guidance, man. Hey, man like, don't. Down. That's a petty reason to break man, up with somebody. I ain't gonna lie. How? Much, oh, why over a ten-year-old? Over a ten-year-old. Over a ten-year-old. Over a ten. Okay. Just as the 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 clip was, he was dating this girl, but the her her son is rude. And disrespectful to him. So the question is, if you started to date someone and the little the child of your significant other is rude and disrespectful to you, would that be a deal breaker? Or can you could can you can you see yourself still being with that person? Let me go, let me get Crystal go first. I, I will hear what Crystal gotta say. <laughs> I mean, just to you, just to you specifically, to nobody else. No, if you, you, you just said you and your significant other in a relationship. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is it okay? They're being rude to you. They're being rude to you. They're being rude to you. Right, but they're not rude to anybody else. Yeah, that's rude in general. The child is rude. Everybody. Um, I mean, first of all, anything could be a deal breaker. Dating is about preferences. So if it doesn't fit, you don't have to stay. No, I know, but would that be a deal breaker for you? If the person has a rude child, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I don't know if that would be a deal breaker because don't know how old the child is. It might be a small child. Eight. Eight. Eight, Eight year old boy. And he's rude to everyone? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I. Well, it's easy for me to answer, but okay, Cohen, because Crystal is the one of the nice, nice people. If you deal with a girl, no, because mm -hmm. everyone has an okay. You mean like okay? If I so encounter a child, right like <laughs> I encounter a child, like what was on that video? Rude, That's you get yeah, rude. You come in there. Why is this woman over here again, Daddy? Why is she here again? Like loud, like. And and they rule and they're only rude to me or they rude to everyone. We talking about you come to the host now and and how, 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 you know sometimes that? people no but you know sometimes kids could be rude to when their parents start to date. You know I that know. right? That's, they rude you to you. That, right? Hold on, hold on. I, I think you try. That's to, why. Go. That's why I asked if the child is rude to everyone. You come over now. It's ten o'clock in the night. You come over because you know you don't want to come to to. You don't come over too uh, too early because they're trying to put. You come there, the boy's still up, and they say, "No, nah, daddy, why she come here? Look here!" And then he trying to put him here. Go ahead, June, you go to bed. And he's soft with the little boy too. And he being rude. You know what? I don't even know why entertaining this because you could have a rude adult in your house. Like gone. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh, uh Cohen. Uh, I don't even rude. know why. Nice. I try to be too nice. Too nice. <laughs> Cohen. You dealing with this girl, you dating this guy, right? You heard what I said, right? No, I didn't hear what you say. I said, I don't know why I'm trying to be nice because if I go there, if I go to someone someone's house that I'm dating and an adult is there, like a relative or someone there rude, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. So if an adult is rude, judge a child. I go on. All right, that's a deal breaker. Yes, okay, finally. That's a, that's a wrap for you. You ain't playing with that. Go ahead. What you saying? Hell no. <laughs> I ain't even. Because then you, you can't even discipline the child to that point. Right, that's, what I get, that's, that's number one. Yeah, your authority ain't going to be there. And then they can choose their kid over you. Regard. I, I ain't dealing with that. The, the no, back and forth. Exactly. You know, I ain't dealing with that's, that. what I was, that's what I was thinking. I, I ain't care what the situation is. I ain't care if the child, daddy's still in his life and he jealous of the new guy coming over, I don't care if he wrote to everyone. I don't care if he just don't like me. I out. And uh, go, go, go be someone else at it. I ain't doing with that. <laughs> I, I I agree. I agree. Uh, <laughs> all right. Here's my 
Yeah. Let's see. I tell you, we, we soon finish because it's almost nine o'clock. I tell you, I ain't hanging up tonight. All right. Here's my next. I want you all. Hold on. Let me move this. Hold on. Right. Okay. Here's my next question. And Crystal, I got you first. That's the next question. Not that. Here's the next question. You've been you've been coming to me first, all from all right, cool. I'm coming to you first, cool. All right, hold on, no answer yet. All right, look at this. What is the best way to handle when you see a red flag? Do not try to make it anything other than a red flag. Mm. I think sometimes people not see a red flag, notice it, like, oh, you know what, that kind of don't try to paint it any other color. Just acknowledge it as a red flag. That doesn't necessarily mean you got to cut the person off because it might be early on. Maybe you don't understand the situation. You don't have enough clarity to really make a decision at this point. Take into account. Take note of it. Call a thing a thing. Exactly. <laughs> Call it for what it is. It don't. can quack like a duck. Mm. And it walk like a duck. It might be yeah. a duck. It's a red flag. What is the best? The question is, when dating someone, like in the infancy stages, and you see certain red flags, why do you think people? Why do you think people, men and women, why do why do why do men and women ignore red flags? Go and you go well, first. No, I no, think the first. Come next. <laughs> I, I think the first issue is most people don't know how to recognize red flags. Some people are so used to, I hate the word toxic relationships or. Um, horrible situations that certain things seem like the norm. You know what I mean? Like I, I had a, a relationship, a past relationship before where it started off good, but then there was arguing a lot. And the girl I was dating was like, oh, it's normal to, to argue in relationship. Yeah, but not to this frequency. Like that, mm -hmm. that don't make sense to me. And that's a problem. So, uh, yeah, that, that some a lot of people don't recognize red flags. And then two, it depends on if their discipline overpowers their desire or not, mm. to be honest. Some guys, they think with their third leg, so regardless if this girl's a red flag, if she have a nice body, that's all they're thinking about. You know, a girl who may, and men and women go through, through stuff like that where they may desire a relationship or they want to be with someone so bad that, you know what, this ain't really that bad. Like, people convince themselves that it ain't as bad as it is when they're infatuated. And I think that that may be a lot of the reason or a majority of the reason why people ignore or don't even recognize red flags. You, Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with what Cohen said. Um, infatuation is what clouds people's judgment and gets people to ignore red flags. In your opinion, lastly, what are some of the red flags we tend to, um, most people tend to ignore? Like, Give me two red flags people tend to ignore. But I, I, I'll I'll leave one. Um, um, a red flag I see I see women ignore. Um, if this then this wow, um, I've heard women said, "Yeah, he slapped me once, but you know he he didn't mean it, and it ain't gonna happen no more." Uh, to me, that's a major major red flag, especially if the dude get a couple dollars and he treating her. Financially, or he up paid a bill or two. I've seen women ignore that major, not even a red flag, that's like a red building. And things that escalated further down, but that was a red flag that they could get a, get a hold of, but they tend to ignore it. That's one. That's a major one I see a lot of women. They they see the abusiveness started. And the boy apologized and he give gifts and stuff, and but they feel like they could change to do it afterwards. Or whatever. Mm. That's that's a that's a red flag I see a lot of women and even men. I, I've seen that's the last another thing I see men ignore. It. I saw men ignore this one here. The girl, the girl. Um, every Friday she require maintenance pay. I, I just call it maintenance pay where she needed, she needed hair do, she needed this do, and he he doing it. But then further down the road when they get established, he then hooked the girl. He gets upset with her now, saying, this girl's a gold digger. But she told me from the break, listen, I require